Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, Microsoft has quietly removed a instruction that it had in a blog post about the um, installing the um, Windows 11 operating system on unsupported PCs. So there are different ways of doing it, and Microsoft had several of its uh, blog posts mentioning, well, you know, if you want to have an update or upgrade to Windows 11, we have a few tricks that you can use. So um, it was an unofficial way of saying, well, you know, we will we'll allow this if you, you, if you try these tricks. Now, one of them has disappeared. Actually, over the last year, Microsoft has slowly removed on some of the blog posts that they have ways to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported machines. And this is interesting because it's something that uh, for a long time they seem to endorse. And even though they would say, well, you know, upgrading your system to Windows 11 on unsupported machines, we, we don't, you know, we, we can't guarantee anything. We can't guarantee it will always work. And last year, they removed a few of those blog post information saying how you can upgrade, you know, on unsupported. Now, one of the blog posts removed one of the uh, tricks that they were giving out, which was to uh, modify a registry key that um, enabled, you know, upgrade to systems uh, without TPM or um, CPU support. Now that's no mention anymore. They, probably the key still works. If you have tried that um, key uh, to see if uh, it upgrades, uh, probably it still works. It's just that they're not mentioning it anywhere anymore on their blog posts. Kind of saying that, you know, well, we don't really agree with this anymore. Uh, we are still wondering because one of the things that was mentioned is that 24H2 could be the last operating system to support the possibility of upgrading your system to 24H2 if it's not supported because um, 25H2 could go into a new direction, but we don't really have much info about that except what was said many months ago, kind of hinting at the end of the free ride on unsupported, um, which would coincide with the Windows 10 extended support and the end of official end of Windows 10 uh, operating system. So... Are they thinking there could be a wave of unsupported machines suddenly uh, at the end of support of Windows 10? I don't know. But anyways, better be, be prepared and ready. Uh, for now, 24H2 is, still works on unsupported machines. You can install it. Uh, we believe that that registry key still works. But um, I think it's Microsoft slowly preparing itself for maybe a change, but also at the same time, it could simply mean that they just want to try to keep it, you know, quiet on that possibility, even though it would still work on 25H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.